Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm sharing how I make my chicken pot pie. This is a very simple recipe. It's just a lot of prep work. Whenever I make these, I always make enough to complete about six to seven pies because I like to freeze them for really quick meals. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that today. For the ingredients, I'll be using fresh white corn. I've used frozen in the past and it just doesn't taste as good as when fresh corn is used. So that's really important to me. I'll also be using butter beans, peas, carrots, and you can use the regular stick carrots if you want. I'm just using what I have on hand. You'll also need celery and onion, potatoes, and cooked chicken. You can use any kind of chicken you want. I just chose to use boneless this time and I actually baked these the night before. And to season it, all I used is salt and pepper and Miss Dash original seasoning. For the pie crust, I'm using these already made frozen ones. You'll see later on that I'm using a couple different brands and I usually just buy whatever is on sale and keep them in my freezer until I'm ready to use them. And for the tops, I'm gonna use this rolled crust. I will also be using cream of chicken, milk, garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Now I'm gonna start by prepping and chopping up everything. This is gonna look like a lot, but just keep in mind that I'm prepping enough to make seven pies. For one pie, you really only need to chop up and measure out a quarter cup of each of the vegetables, but since I'm making seven pies, I need one and three quarter cups. So that's why it's gonna look like a lot. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you how everything looks after it's prepped. Here's everything prepped and measured. Now, I don't like any crunchy vegetables in my pie and they don't stay in the oven long enough to cook enough to be tender. So I do like to pre-cook the carrots, butter beans, potatoes, and peas. I just boil them and cook them until they're almost tender. Before I start mixing all of my ingredients, I'm gonna unwrap and lay out all of my pie crust. These all need to sit out for no more than 20 minutes before I use them, more so for the rolled pie dough. When the rolled dough is cold, you can't really unroll it and work with it. Once it's warmed up, that's when it becomes workable. First, I'm gonna start with a little bit of olive oil and medium heat and start sauteing the celery. I like to cook the celery for about two minutes before adding the onions because they always need an extra one to two minutes to cook. Now that the onions and celery have softened, it's time to add the garlic. I like for the garlic to saute with the onions and celery for about one minute or so, just so that flavor can infuse. Now it's time to add all the rest of the vegetables, milk, cream of chicken, salt, and pepper.
After it's mixed very well, I like to bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat to medium low and just cook it enough until it's heated through. When I'm only making one pie, I don't have as much ingredients in a pot like I do now, so I usually cook it just for about five minutes or so, but with a big pot like this, I'll cook it for about eight to nine minutes. Now it's time for the fun part, which is filling all the pies up. I'm gonna evenly divide the mixture the best I can amongst all the pies and then move on to the tops. For the tops, you just unroll the dough, lay it on top like so, cut your excess hanging off, and then pinch the sides to seal it up. I'm gonna go ahead and cook one pie now to eat for supper tonight. This will cook on 350 for about 30 minutes. And before you put it in the oven, you need to poke holes in the top so the pie can vent. I actually forgot to do this on this one because I was caught up in filming, but just make sure you do. I usually just take a fork and poke the top about five times or so in the middle to make a star. To freeze the pies, I'll be using these gallon freezer bags, which are the perfect size. On each bag, I'm gonna write what it is and how to cook it. To cook a frozen pie, you just put it in the oven, heat it at 350 unthawed for about one hour and 10 minutes or just until slightly golden. It's hard to poke fork holes in the top to vent when it's frozen, so I usually just wait until it's cooked for about 30 minutes and then I'll do it then. And that's it for this cook with me video. This recipe is super simple and so delicious. It's just a lot of prep work, especially if you're making multiple at a time like I do. I will leave my recipe down below in the description box so you can have it if you wanna try it out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.